Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I wanted to do the update for the uh, salad bar LED area. So let me get the camera spun around here. Now remember, these were the ones we took out of the mid sized grow tent last week. And we transitioned over here into the salad bar LED area where we have the extra growing capability for the week's harvest before we harvest it. So, like, I'll be harvesting it. It's Sunday today, so this is harvest day. So, I'll be coming through here. And last week I had a video of me doing a harvest in this area, pulling out the pulling out the little tray and doing the harvest I won't you know make you guys sit through that again and uh, but this is the uh, gourmet lettuce blend this one over here is the DMR salad blend and I remember I was saying in last week's video I bet I was gonna get you know quite a bit of growth so if you look at last week's video and you compare it to this let me get the camera down here at a little angle more level height you can see there's a lot of growth on that just in that week since we've let it sit inside of here and get a little a bit higher. You can even see the chard. This is the chard we cut off. You can see all the growth that we have coming up on here, all the new growth. There's a lot coming through here. I'm pretty pleased to see that. So I'm not gonna harvest this this week. I'm gonna let these get a little bit bigger. So I like to let them get to be a pretty good size and then I'll come through and then I'll cut another big amount out of here leave a lot of the little ones down below I mean I do see there's a couple other kind of kind of yellowy you know, like this one here I usually don't just pick those and toss them out so I mean there's no point in having your plant your plant try to put vigor and effort into growing these when they're that far gone I'd rather have them put the effort into like you know these these bigger ones that are actually going to be the ones we're going to consume so I'll come through here and I'll probably thin out a few of these uh yellowy guys maybe I'll throw a little more organic uh, compost tea in here I'm gonna be doing that this week so I'm gonna add in after I do my cutting on these trays I'm gonna add in some compost tea I'm probably gonna do a 50 50 mix of the compost tea inside here I don't know because uh, I noticed one time I did the uh, compost tea in some of these lettuces I did a 50 50 and it kind of created a little dead zone in there so I don't know if it was a little bit too rich of nutrient to go in there so I may dump that down to like, you know, a quarter. So like, you know, a quarter of a 25% mix. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this lettuce growth. I mean, this is just, this is phenomenal. So this is gonna be, you know, just, just this tray and this tray for this week, that should get us, you know, Paula and I, probably at least three meals, you know, of salad on those. And that should fill up that uh, silver colander that we had from last week's video where I harvested off the three trays plus I did a couple of you know I snipped off some of the cuttings for this and I took a took a little bit of the uh, the hot mix the spicy you know greens from this tray except it was the, the corresponding tray in the other tent that I put back in there but yeah this is looking nice I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the growth I'm getting because I'm you know starting to get into that full mode where I'm gonna have the weekly transition, you know, rotation of getting things out of one tent, putting it in here, letting it, you know, get its final week of uh, burst growth and doing my harvest. So we're going to have meals all winter long off of uh, the rotational planting and plantings that I've done in these tents. One of the things that I do want to probably do is uh, replace these trays. These things are just so darn brittle. I mean, these 1022 trays, I think that's what they call these. They always crack whenever I'm pulling them out of here. But uh, I saw in Curtis Stone, you know, he's got these trays that he uses for the, uh, the oh, what do they call that cedar? There's a little cedar that he pulls along and uh, drops seeds in the ground. It's the paper plant cedar, I think they call it. It's a spendy little little device, but boy, for what he's doing, it seems really handy. But uh, I want to use those same trays and try to start using those as my grow trays. The only thing is that they've got holes in the bottom and they drain and I really can't have, you know, holes that drain inside of uh, my setup that I've got because I don't really have a big area where I can let things just run down through and drain to the ground. Especially on this bench, I mean, you know, I am I am dealing with, a, you know, a plywood floor here and I've got, you know, wood and I mean, this is under a house. So I really don't want to have a lot of water just draining off this, this tray thing and dropping onto the ground. But, you know... These, these, these here, they seem they seem pretty pliable still. Some of the ones that I've ordered before, they're pretty brittle and they, they only last maybe one or two rotations and they start to crack. So, this is kind of the update. Lights are doing well. 
Haven't had any problems. They're still nice and bright. Keeps it nice temperature controlled. I got my little temperature meter there that keeps the you know the heat underneath the, the tray mats. But when the lights are off, keeps everything uh, growing. So there's a lot of growth. <laughs> I don't know. You guys must think this is just nuts. I don't have a lot of content for my videos yet at this point because I don't really have a homestead. I don't have chickens. I don't have any of this, but I, I do have my indoor grill lights. And uh, I really enjoy doing this stuff. And, you know, this, this kind of stuff, whether you're growing stuff that's uh, legal in your area or not, it's all helpful. You know, I don't believe you should ever be put in jail for growing a plant. I mean, that, that to me, that's just... I don't know what you do for yourself and if you're using it for your own medicinal needs whether you need it for you know medical treatments or anything like that that's your business i'm just here to uh inform and help people live a better life all right this has been brian get off my soapbox now <laughs> i'll talk to you guys next week all right bye <laughs>